Hello everyone, Stucker Yee here, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. But before we begin, I would like to introduce a very special guest. Joya? <coughs> Say hello! Hi! Everyone, this is my daughter Joya. She is five years old, and today, she is going to be the general. Joya, that means you're going to be in charge of the military. So, as everyone is aware, Hearts of Iron 4 is a World War II simulator game, of which there are many, many different nations that they can play. Joya, you can choose whatever nation you want here out of all of these, any of the flags that look interesting. It could be any one of these. Take your pick. This one? You chose... You chose Italy! Okay! I was I was honestly half afraid that the first time she ever did this, she chose Germany. <laughs> and I was thinking she almost pointed at it and then just eh, at the last second went over. Okay. All right. Italy, 1936. We're going to turn the historical AI off because we want to see whatever happens, happens. And my friends, let's go ahead and begin. Okay. So here we are, Joy in 1936. We are Italy. The thing that looks right here, like with a leg with a boot on it, about to kick this little island. This is Sicily, by the way. That's this is. Sicily. Sicily. Yeah, that's the name. And Italy starts at war with Ethiopia down here in the south. Now, I'm going to give you a couple options. Our goal, at least initially, would be to conquer Ethiopia. But you will have a couple options. Do you want to try to conquer Ethiopia? Do you want to turn it into a puppet? Or do you want to let it go and not attack it? Let it go? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen too much Frozen at this point. Okay, so we're going with an interesting game in here in which we are going to be releasing Ethiopia and not actually attacking them, which is going to be a political failure on our part. All right. Let me ask you then here, Joya, what is the first focus that we are going to do? We can do any of these ones that are highlighted here. Should we do the Italian highways, the army, the air force, the navy? Air force. force. Of course, the first, the first and only thing that she chooses is the air force. Of course. The meme is alive and well, my friends, and we are going to have to uh, figure this out. This is probably going to be a disaster of a game. All right, from the very get-go, I need to try and do whatever it is I can to survive, which means actually getting some research and production and everything going. It is my daughter, which means that the first thing that is going to be done is literally anything to do with air. I already know from the beginning. For anyone who hasn't seen any of the previous videos, anytime she's given an option for choosing anything, she almost always just chooses to invest in air, <laughs> negating every other aspect of politics. And I'm terrified that is going to happen again. So we need to make sure at least that Air Force is going to be competent then. Make sure that we get some proper civilian factories up here and functioning. Uh, what do we have military factory wise? We're going to need a decent amount of this here. Uh, tanks? No, the Italian tankettes suck. We don't actually want any of these things. Things really are going to be useless, so there's no point in any of that. Make sure we go ahead and get ourselves all of our production, everything here for the Navy, which I don't even know if I'll even be able to use properly here. Trade for some rubber and trade for some... I don't even care about the chromium. We're not going to waste a, a slot on that. But air innovations from the very beginning. Okay, without my friends... Let's do this. Well, after withdrawing our forces back, we get to withdraw from Ethiopia, which Eritrea, Somaliland, and Jubaland will be transferred to Ethiopia if they're fully controlled by them. Afar will be transferred if they're owned by Italy. White peace with Ethiopia. And yeah, that's, that's it, my friends. So, Joya, the northern front stalls. The unexpected success of our counteroffensive in northern Abyssinia is nowhere to be seen. The Duce swears that the entire world is laughing at him and the lack of progress in the war. He is of half the mind to personally take charge of the northern offensive to make sure that troops are properly motivated and led. So, do we need a change in leadership, or do is it a staggering failure? Staggering failure? It's a staggering failure. <laughs> okay. Ethiopia accepts the Italian peace. Um, do we need a change in leadership, or is it a staggering failure? Staggering failure. It's just failure all around. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Honestly, just to make things easier on this here, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I want to... I, I, I don't want to have to deal with Eritrea or any of this, so we're just going to release as a puppet, and then we're also going to release uh, Libya as a puppet. We're going to do that. And the Somali Sultanate releases a puppet. I don't want to have to deal with any of this crap since apparently we're withdrawing out of here anyway. Yep, we now face humiliation in Africa. <laughs> oh, Joya, you just wanted to be nice and leave them alone. Okay, there's Air Innovations. Now, Joya, what are we going to do next? Are we going to build highways? Uh, Army Primacy? Are we going to do the Cita del Aria? Uh, are we going to expand the flying schools? Are we... You're <laughs> mm, now the Navy. You want to build some boats? Yep. Okay. Good to know. I love going on 
on boat rides. You love going on boat rides? All right. It looks like she's focusing on manufacturing then. And, of course, Germany gets embroiled in a civil war. So, yeah, that, that's that's fun. Great. A coup, naval power projection, and now that means we need to do the next thing here. What do we even have as an option over on this side? Tribe in Africa that <laughs> completes. I'm going to need to ask her what we're going to need to do politically. Do we defy the Duce? Do we support the Duce? Do we convene the Grand Council? Do we focus on foreign affairs? There's so many options to choose from with how big this is. All right, we got dockyards to build some boats. What's the next thing that we're going to do? Infrastructure, army, air force, boats, uh, politics. What are we doing? Politics. Politics, okay. Which part are we focusing on then? There's, so, there's several options you're going to have. Do you want to go democracy, okay. communist, fascist, or monarchy? Monarchy. Anarchy. Monarchy. Oh, you want to be a princess? Yeah. <laughs> she just, she just, she heard that and she's like, yes, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Well, if we want to do that, that means that we're going to need to go down here to convene the Grand Council, and then we're gonna need to depose Mussolini. Who's Mussolini? Mussolini is this guy. He is Il Duce. He's the one who's in charge of Italy. So back during World War II. Joya, in the 1930s going into the 1940s, this guy took control of the country of Italy and led it to war. He wasn't very good, though. Why? Wasn't he good? Um, because he sided with Germany, and Germany declared war on everybody, and Italy wasn't ready for war, but Mussolini didn't want to get left behind. So I guess that means that we're going to have to go down several different paths in here to try and get this. So if the goal is monarchy and we have to get that, that means we probably need to undermine the Duce and convene the Grand Council. Actually, no, we just, it needs to be convene the Grand Council, so we do that. We must convene the Grand Council of Fascism to discuss what to do about Mussolini. His latest foray into Ethiopia and unwillingness to share power or responsibility has left many questioning his capabilities as a leader. He has served his country well and is the very face of fascism, but it might be time for new leadership. Yes. Actually, that actually works out for me. I'm not going to lie. In case what ends up happening is that the Germans do go monarchist, that means that I will be in a much better position. Okay, so we're going to need to get a staunch monarchist in order to get into power because this is not actually going to work. The big thing that we're going to have to do, though, is she says she wants Mussolini out, so that means we have to depose Mussolini. The time has come to oust Mussolini from power. He has proven himself to be an incompetent leader that has dragged out our beloved Italy through many unnecessary hardship and tested its resilience well past the breaking point. While a shadow might loom large over us for some time to come, Italy and its people will prevail. Okay, so Joya, here's where we're at now. It's going to take some time for us to be able to get enough monarchism so that we can actually overthrow the fascist council and reinstate the monarchy, which means you have a couple options that you can focus on now. You can do, you can focus on infrastructure and build roads. You could build up the army. You could build up the air force. You could build up the navy, or you could focus on foreign affairs. Uh, so yeah. there's a lot of different things you can do. That is, foreign affairs. Foreign affairs. Okay, we're doing that then. Um, <laughs> we haven't prepared anything, but okay. I question the stability of a lot of these choices, but we're just gonna go for it. Oh, it's raining. Mm-hmm, in some parts of it is. <laughs> Are you singing for this? Okay, okay. I actually watch. All right, after foreign affairs. Okay, do we want to still focus on foreign affairs? Do we want to do the Army, Navy, Air Force, or uh, industry? You got to point at the one you want to do. This Air Force again? You want, to, you want to build up more Air Force? Yeah. Okay. Are we going to expand? Uh, are we going to build more flying schools? Or are we going to build more factories for airplanes? Uh, more airplanes. Yep. Yes, you could. <laughs> I can already see that we're building. We're going to focus so much on aircraft and we're not going to have an actual industry <laughs> to support our nation. Everything for airplanes. That's the only thing she cares about. United Kingdom revisits colonial policy. Oh, Lord. They're going communist over here. All right, industry, army, navy, foreign affairs. Do you want to build more roads and factories? Do you want to build more army? Do you want to build more navy? I think I do you want to build more army. More army, so, to help with all the foreign affairs. Okay, army primacy it is then. And what are we going to do after that? Are we going to build industry, army, navy? What, what are we going to build after that? On the street? 
our industry. We're, we are actually going to start on our industry now. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yes. We, we can definitely do that. Oh, thank God. That means I can finally build some freaking roads. This should be like one of the first things I did. Uh, okay. It's not even going to help me much with infra industry. It's just going to get my infrastructure going. Norway declared war on the Norwegian People's Republic. Ah, oh, great. Even more chaos in this world then. Here, let me ask you this. So, we, Oh, you a Navy? Is that you said? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Which way are we going to do? Are we going to focus on torpedoes, expanding the naval facilities for more boats, or are we going to build more guns for the boats? Guns for the boats. More guns for the boats. All right. What are we going to do after that? Uh, wait. Mm. Industry, Army, Air, Navy, Foreign Affairs. I, uh, uh, Navy. Navy again? <laughs> Man, you want to build boats in this game. Okay. Are we going to focus on torpedoes or naval facilities? Naval facilities. Okay. So we're going to build more boats after this. Got it. I, I do not know what I'm doing here right now. <laughs> this, this is not the strategy that I thought we would be doing. But I guess we're going to have an, a, a naval Italian game, amazingly enough. Okay, but although focus is done, now we have finally the ability to do Monarchia de Italia. So we can actually pursue the monarchy path like what Joya wanted. So, Vittorio Emanuel should never have opened the doors for Italian politics fascism. It's time to correct the mistake and make the fascists take back seats in the government. Vapid started to declare... Oh my god, it's even more chaos over here. All right, well, that's some fun stuff then. Polish sanitation junto is fish. Ah, Norway went communist. Yep, that's fun. Uh, UK is strongly going communist then. All right, that's something. And yes, we've brought back Vittorio Emmanuel III. We we're, go we're going back to, to monarchy. Nice. Joya, I would like to introduce you the king of Italy, Vittorio Emmanuel III. Wow. He kind of looks like egg, egghead. <laughs> he looks like an egghead. <laughs> Oh, Joya, that is that is a great way to describe things. So, okay, Joya, are we going to focus on industry, army, politics? Politics. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. Actually, I realized this from this. We did several options here. Okay. So here's the question then: Do you want to do you want to give the king all the power, or do you want it to be a constitutional monarchy, so the king only has a little power? So, no, a lot of power or a little power? Lots of power. Lots of power. So, power to the king. Okay, then we're going to need to take some time before we get to this here. So, if that's the goal and we have to get to here, that means we need to decide um, industry, army, air, or navy. Oh. Air. We're going to build more for the air. Do we want um, Do we want more flying schools or do we want more uh, aircraft factories? Do you want to teach people how to fly or do you want to build more airplanes? I people how to fly this time. Yoke, you want to teach them how to fly this time? Okay, that's a good idea. I like that. And then once we teach people how to fly, what do we do next? Industry. Industry, okay. Well, here, point at the one that you think that we should do. You you want to support Africa? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess we can d develop all these. Sure. So for industry, she has decided that we are going to fully develop Africa. All right. Why not? Austria votes to unite with Hungary. Well, this is... <laughs> I feel like the gang's getting back together here at this rate. Okay, same question. Industry, Army, Air Force, Navy. Uh, what, what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. Air Force. Okay, all right, Air Force. Do we want to get more dive bombers or do we want to get more air factories? I think I want to get more dive bombers. More dive bombers. Do you, do you like that game we play where we do dive bomb? Is that why you said that? Yeah. Yeah. We play a little game where I throw her onto the couch and yell dive bomb and then just toss her. So that that seems fitting. All right. And when we finish with that, what are we going to do? Industry. Industry. OK. Do we want to develop Africa? Do we want to build up more steel, more power plants? Do we want to build railroads? Do we want to build more military factories? What do we want to build? Wow. Railroads. Okay, you just really like infrastructure and building things for transportation, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Forget Mussolini. Joya will make the trains run on time. This is easily going to be one of the most broken builds I think I've ever seen in my life. Ah. Uh, oh, oh. What the frick? Hold up. Japan went communist. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, my God. And China's at war with itself. Oh my god, and the anarchists. The anarchists? No, wait, no, that's not even anarchists. That's just the Spanish commune. They're just straight communists. What? What is going on here? 
No, wait, no, it did say that was the anarchist uprising. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fun. And that, my friends, is the restoration of Austria-Hungary. Okay, and our railroads are built. Uh, now the big question of what to do. Industry. Industry, okay. Uh, do you want to develop Africa, steel, power plants, military factories, or um, farms? Oh, sorry, there's a lot more options. Hold on, you got a lot more in there, I realize. Military factories, build a dam on a river. You can build more farms. You can a dam build on a river. You want a, a dam on a river. Okay. And after you build the dam, what do you want to do? Do you want to get more, uh, some more research, some more schools? Do you want to build military factories? More factor? research. Research. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. Yes. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, my God. Okay, with the dam, that means we can now finally, finally get another research slot. Holy crap. I built up a actually decent surplus of equipment. How am I not producing many fighters or other things, though? Is my industry really that weak that I'm barely producing any of this stuff? Oh, Lord. Yosef Stalin assassinated. Whoa, wait, hold on. Despite having an extreme security apparatus around his person, the leader of the Soviet Union, Yosef Stalin, has been found dead, presumably murdered in his villa. What? what? I have not seen that actually happen before. Which, of course, then leads to a Soviet coup. Wow. What do, we, what do we want to build? What do we want to do? Army. Army? You want to build up the army? Okay, let's see here. Do you... Oh, here's a good uh, decision. Do you want to preserve the army traditions and keep it the way they are, or do you want to do a bandit war and focus on being mobile and running around? Focus on being mobile and running around. You like to run around the house a lot, don't you? Yeah, what did you do this morning? What did, what did I have to do with my phone? You needed to set the time, and I needed to run all around. Yeah, while well, you were doing a little obstacle run and trying to increase your speed with your track skills. Yeah, yeah now that makes sense. Okay, after we do a bandits war, what do you want to do? Uh, Army, air, navy, industry? Industry. After that, industry. Okay, point at the one you want. That's what we're going to have to do from now on. Just point at the one you want. Steel? Okay, we're going to build a steel industry. Hey, okay, this is actually getting pretty useful. Good job, Joya. Okay, guys, it's salvageable. It's it's salvageable, all right? We have a plan. It's gonna work. I don't have a plan. Spanish commune joined the commentary. Okay, all right. That means they're gonna get even more. Yeah, yeah. The Soviet Union under um th this guy, Max Reeder, who I've never actually seen in charge before of anything. Wow, that is that is interesting. Um, it, th they're they're now gonna be doing a lot more, I guess. Vanguard. Ch oh my God, another civil war, but this time down in Chile. There's even more crap going on here. What is the United States doing? Oh, you went Alf Landon. All right. In Mexico, standard stuff. Nothing really concerning there. Nothing concerning with uh, Canada. But the UK. <laughs> oh, never Chamberlain. You might as well just surrender and appease the communists right now. What the? F uh, no, no, not the People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia justifying against us. Why? Why? What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Joya, some crazy things are happening in the world right now. Ethiopia is justifying on us, so they want to declare war. They want to attack us. <gasps> I know, right? You even let them go. You gave them a second chance, and they decided to attack you. So that's happening here. Um, also, it looks like Norway has declared war on Finland. That is kind of crazy that's happening there. The communists are winning down in Spain. It's going crazy. It's crazy all over the world. But what are you going to do next? Are you going to focus on developing Africa? Or sorry, are you going to focus on industry? Are you going to work on the army, I'm air force, uh, foreign affairs? Air force. Air force. We need to build the air force. Okay, got it. That means we can only do one thing. The Regians exports. We're going to go ahead and get that one done. Yes. All right. All right. All right. We'll, we'll do that. And then once that's done, that's the only Air Force thing that we can actually do. We might be at war by that time, but what we need to do is focus on, you said that you wanted to go monarchy. We can finally do this thing here for politics. So we'll be able to do power to the king. Here is the question that I have for you. This is a very important question. Do you want to support the king after this, or do you want to support the pope? I want to support the king. The, the king. Okay, we're going pure monarchy. You want to be a princess? Yep. You want to destroy your enemies? Yep. Okay, down with the peasants. All hail the Italian Sky Queen. Okay, there's our Air Force worked on. That means the next step thing after this that we have to then do is... Uh, where was it? Power to the king. In this time of great social and political tension, the only way to ensure that no extremist regime, whether fascist or communist, prevails in Italy is to increase the concentration of power in the hands of the king. Surely the most suitable person to guide our country. 
Yes, Mr. Eggman. All right, same question. Army, Navy, Air Force, politics, industry. What do you want to work on? What do you want to develop? Politics. You want to still do politics. Okay, got a question for you then. Um, we can focus on our extraction industry and build up stuff here for corporations. We can, um, you can either disband the black shirts or utilize the black shirts. That means, you know how you can have a bully at school that is mean? So we can either use the bullies to help us and hurt people, or we can oh, get rid of them. The bully. You want to use them. Okay, got it. Got, we're, we're, I have some concerns, but okay. Well, after we utilize the bullies, what are we going to do next? Are we are we going to go to foreign affairs? Are we going to go industry? What, what do you want to do? Industry. Industry. Okay. Uh, point at what you want to do. You want to go here and uh, build up synthetic oil. Okay, we can we can do that. And then after that, do you want to strengthen the northern industry? Or do you want to modernize the southern industry? So basically, here's the difference. This one is going to build you civilian and military factories. This one, So you can make guns. This one will help make boats. Do you want guns or boats? Guns. Guns. All right. That's, that's my girl. So we're going to utilize the police. <laughs> I cannot believe that we're doing this. I cannot, I cannot believe that this is how it's going. Huh, I'm just noticing this now. Ethiopia never went and declared war on us. They went and declared war on France? <laughs> what? All right, so with that, we got synthetic refineries. Awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Dominion of Canada seeks immediate patriation. Yeah, that's going to happen because they just flipped communist, didn't they? Or, nope, they're about to. The Norwegians, of course. The, what is with the common turn in this game? It is getting so big. Oh, no, Finland was even beating back the Norwegians, and now it's going to die. All right, northern industry is strengthened. We got all that done, and that means the new industrialization program. All that is set. Awesome. We get more, more stuff. Well, my friends, it is mid-1939. Nothing else is really happening with us right now. We haven't declared on anyone. Germany is democratic, which I thought they were going to go monarchist. That didn't happen. Um, Austria-Hungary is actually back. France is... Um, Divided, to say the least. The United Kingdom, for whatever reason, still has not gone communist, which is surprising. Um, I expected them to flip already by now, but they haven't. They have, however, completely decolonized Africa. So, yeah, that's, th th that's something. Somehow, the Soviet Union and Norway did not murder Finland. They managed to survive fascist Finland survived. And yeah, the rest of this is looking quite broken. What happened over here in Asia? Anything? No? We got still communist here in control Japan and no nothing else happening. Um, China's murdering everyone though. That's something. So amazingly enough, Joya, Ethiopia did not actually attack us. I didn't expect that to happen, but that's, that's what happened. So here, here's the question then. Industry, army, air, what, what are we going to do next? What do you want to do? Do you want to go and develop go our politics? I should not have said that. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right, then. So here's the thing. Do you want to... Um, so does that mean you want to send an ultimatum to Yugoslavia with Balkan ambitions, or do you want to try to make friends? Attack them! All right, let's do it. <laughs> Balkan ambitions? We haven't even built up an army. Oh, wait, actually, that's right. Question for you. Um, officer Corps-wise, Joya, you have a very important question here. There are four different types of strategies that we can use. Mobile warfare, which focuses on speed and maneuverability to cut off enemies. We can focus on superior firepower with lots of guns. You can focus on grand battle plan with lots of planning. Or you can just assault and throw a bunch of people at the enemy. Throw so do you do you want to throw people at the enemy? Do you want to throw a bunch? <laughs> Joya, you're, you're 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 a military genius. Well, we'll do it. Well, my friends, it looks like we're going to attack Yugoslavia and we're going to throw the entire population of Italy at it. I swear to God, this build makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Okay, because we know we're not going to have good quality on the ground, that means we're going to need to focus every single possible thing that we can in the air. We need as much of this as possible. Which means we're going to need tanks to throw onto our infantry, because our infantry, there's no way in hell they're actually going to be able to hold up to anything. Bulgaria now declared war on Bulgaria. Okay, is Yugoslavia part of anything? They are guaranteed by France. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, France is not part of any allies or anything. No, they're just at war with Ethiopia. Okay. 
I swear to God, if this actually works, I'm I'm going to be flabbergasted here. Um, so as a heads up, Yugoslavia is guaranteed by France as well as the uh, a, a, a kingdom of Romania here. So we're we're actually going to be fighting a lot more people when we do that. Um, in the meantime, it's time to pick some more stuff since that's who we're going to be attacking. Uh, what, what, what do you want to do? Army, Navy, Air Force, Industry, Politics? What, what, what do you want to do? Just like a true politician, waging war and playing politics. That makes sense. All right. Do you want to get the help of the Pope? Do you want to expand the Royal Guard? Or do you want to uh, extract more stuff? Like more resources? Extract more stuff. All right. Destroy the land of our own place and destroy the enemy. Got it. What do you want to do after that? Um, in the... Industry? Okay. Are we going to build military factories, farms, or uh, develop Africa? Develop Africa. Okay. You just want to develop all of these? De to spend all of our time developing Africa? Yeah! <laughs> I love you. So, we're about to declare war on an enemy. Multiple enemies, in fact. With almost no preparation done to the actual army. Just our Air Force and Navy. And then simultaneously, we're focusing on developments on Africa for places and territories that we don't even control. They're controlled by puppets. Genius! Germany speaks out against the Soviet Union. Oh, they're actually preparing for something here. All right, hold on. That means I, I, that I get to technically choose when it is that we launch this war. All right. Support the Hungarian claim to avoid... Not, ooh, we could do that to actually do all this. S demand Dalmatia. Um, support the Hungarian claim to avoid... Not, let, let's see if we can avoid the war. Let's see if we can avoid it just to preserve this a little bit longer. We will support the Hungarian claim to avoid... Not. Then we will demand Dalmatia. Yugoslavia accept our demands. And mass mobilization are... No, we're going to have to go deep battle because we have to be able to do something. Ah, no, let's just send the ultimatum. Let's see what they do. They got 14 days to decide. Bulgaria submits to Romania. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Yugoslavia refuses. Well, my daughter chose war, which means it's going to happen. You asked for this, Joya. <laughs> All right, Joya, they refuse to surrender, which means it is time for us to declare war. Are you ready? Yes. Well, let's do it then. All right, now we've declared war. It's time to launch our attack. Full assault all along the front line. Here they go. End of the League of Nations. We are charging in. Here our men go. They are fighting and shooting and doing everything. Looks like France isn't trying to do anything on this side. All right, maintain any superiority. Do it. Oh, wait, I forgot to do anything with the Navy. Uh, that could be a problem. Oh, wow. Okay, it looks like they're actually attacking us over here. But it's okay. We will be fine. We just need to sweep on through here. The more that we can break through them, the better it will be. Let's see, Air Force. Actually, we're doing pretty decent there. We are wiping out the French. Joya, oh my god, we just crushed the French Navy. Look at this. We just destroyed four, 13, 16 ships. What? Yeah. Wow, oh my god, your development into Navy actually worked. Oh, but it looks like we're losing some over here. Okay, we are we are losing those. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we just lost like half of our destroyers right there. <laughs> um. Hope we can do it. Hope we can do it. All right, we're pushing in. We're pushing in. See, look, we're starting to break, make some breakthroughs. We're throwing ourselves at the enemy, but it is perfectly fine. Oh, also, I forgot that we needed to do the whole thing with trade interdiction. Um, yeah, we needed to level up our navy. I completely forgot to do that, which would have been actually helpful before we started the battle over here. Okay. Yep, we're sinking their boats. We're doing actually pretty decent over there. Okay, not carrier, effects, submarine, subdetection, destroyer. Yes, we want convoy sailing. We want to get that. That'll help us. Okay, we just got the next level here of planes. So that means we can go over here, probably get a anti-air upgrade because we want that. And now we're going to need to design a new plane to be able to use. We're going to slap on lots of heavy machine guns because that's good. We're also going to get a good engine. We're going to get some armor plates. We're going to get some self-sealing tanks, and we're going to get extra fuel tanks for the range. And now we're going to develop a cast that is the same thing, with lots of bomb locks. Lots of bombs. We, we like to blow yeah. things up in this. Yeah, they'll destroy all of them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. All of them. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a little dangerous. It's a little, like, we're, we're doing some decent kills, all things considered, but uh, we need we need more. Let's see, can I add more air? How many men have I lost so far? Just 11,000. Actually, it's not the worst. It is not the worst. Okay, we're doing okay. And it looks like the French are attacking us over here. So as long as we can just hold the line, we will be okay. 
But I am running out of fuel. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. We need to buy some from the Soviets. Okay, Joya has made us declare war on Yugoslavia, which was uh, being supported by France, and this is how the world has turned out. She also decided that instead of improving guns, we're just going to recruit as many men as possible and throw them at the enemy machine guns. Because eventually, they will run out of bullets before we run out of people. Why? That's a good strategy, Joya. All right, we're taking. We're gonna take some losses. It's fine. We will eventually break through. Oh god, they're starting to break through. Okay, can I even properly defend this? I don't think that I have enough men. I don't know if I recruited enough men going into this. We're just gonna add a couple more divisions on here, just just to hold the line, just to please hold the line a little bit as much as possible. I need to improve upon everything. Soviets ramp up military build up. Everything is going to be going to shit, I think. Oh, God. How are they? Res it's the mountains. It's the mountains. That's how they're doing that. That's It's the mountains. That's how they're resisting me. All right. We're managing to hold on to here. How's the Navy? The Navy situation is actually not the best. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah. How about? Oh, my God. My Navy was eviscerated. Okay. Mm, I didn't plan that properly, which is resulting in more losses, but okay. All right, we have some of their forces surrounded. All that is set. We just need to continue to hold the line here as much as possible. How's the air game go? At least the air game we are winning. That is the one thing that Joy, she got that right. All right, they can hold the line on the side. We just really need to push Yugoslavia as much as possible. At this point, I've lost 48,000 in comparison to their 75 and France's 63. Actually, you know what? It's not the worst. It's not the worst. In fact, a lot of my losses might even be from the Navy at this point. Here, let's consolidate. Let's build up, plan for the next offensive, and we'll just, we'll wait for a bit. We'll wait for a bit and continue to bomb the enemy as much as possible. Are they holding? Yeah, we're actually holding. Though our Navy, which initially did well, is now completely crushed. We, we lost, we lost so much of the Navy. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. We, we still got, we, we can still do some damage to them as time goes on and it'll stop them from being able to prop, get a proper invasion on us, I think. There we go. Okay, that's pretty solid. We're getting some forces surrounded. This is the smarter thing to do. I should have done this from the beginning and actually behaved smartly. I did not. Um, but we can wipe out a good number of the enemy forces this way. And launch another attack. If we can just get some breakthroughs and push on in, we will be fine. There we go. There's several surrounded. Okay, we are breaking through. We actually got this. Okay. Oh, no, we don't have that. Hold up. Empire of Brazil and Port... Did you actually form Greater Portugal and... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So this is the Empire of Brazil and Portugal, which owns the southern part of Portugal. Why? Why, man? Okay, we finally, there we go. We took Belgrade. Okay, that is perfect. We can take all the states, uh, take their ships, because God knows I desperately need the ships in the first place. And that means Yugoslavia is ours. We actually have that. Okay, quick, when Romania rushes in here, we need to... Quickly move up beyond the river line. Try to take as many things as possible. Stop their soldiers from moving. There we go. Okay. That is several units captured, including a Romanian tank division. That is actually quite valuable. Okay. There we go. Just move in some units. We need to get up here as fast as possible. Ah, dang it. Okay. Well, we were still able to make some of this. The dawn of the... Did I say the dawn of the Romania coalition? For what? For what purpose? I am now running out of people. Okay, that is not good. Extensive conscription. All right, am I able to break through? I am able to break through some of it, so we'll keep up the attack for just a little bit. And now we will stop. Now we will stop. This is this is not working out. I do not have the equipment to be or the industry to be able to throw things at people. Because I've lost at this point another 38,000 of the Romanians who I've not killed nearly as many of. Wait, how am I winning the naval game in here? When did that happen? Come on. All right, there we go. Move to pin these. Quick, rush in, rush in, rush in. Hold them just slightly. There we go. Okay, there's some pinned. All right, let's go. Just throw ourselves. Throw yourselves at the enemy. Yes, it's risky. I know we're going to lose some lives. Do I care? No, at this point, it's been going on for too long. We just got to go. I am bombing the hell out of them, but they still will not die. No, no, no. Cut them off. Cut them off. Come on. Move, 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 move. We can take the capital. Yes! Bucharest falls. Okay, slow down the attack. We're going to need to refresh ourselves here just a little bit. Continue to bomb the enemy, and let's get some more divisions in here. We shouldn't be missing any troops, right? Yeah, we're good. All right, push. They just can't, They just try to attack. Now we counterattack. Let's break through. Come on. We are breaking through this, damn it. We are going to get this. And you declare war on free. What is going on? <laughs> breakthrough priority. Yes, through tanks and all infantry. Breakthrough and organization. Yes, give me more. Give me more. We will We will break through this, absolutely. In the meantime, we're just trying to bomb the hell out of France. The more of this that we can do, the more damage, uh, the better it's going to be. Romania falls, yes. 
means actually the next one after this should just be Bulgaria. And Bulgaria capitulates. Okay, that takes care of that. Excellent. All right, now begins this attack on France. Let's go ahead and take the south, and we can cut off all of their naval bases. That'll be excellent. It means we'll be able to force our way through. Stop them from being able to reinforce. You're going to declare war on the Empire of Brazil. Okay, how has this strategy actually worked? I don't, I don't understand it. Go, go, wait, where did all the troops go? They just move off the border? Well, don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Wow. I guess I killed off way more Frenchmen than I ever anticipated. Yeah, they lost, yeah, 350,000. They probably did not have that, considering that they didn't have to deal with any German threat or anything like that, which means that even going into 1940, we are only at 44% world tension. Amazingly enough, this worked out really well for me. They probably had zero preparation work done whatsoever. And with that, France, um... F France capitulates. We did it. We even get the Sultanate of Afar down here. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and puppet the uh, the, the Sultanate of Afar. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Submit all demands. Take the entirety of the French Navy that survived, so that way I can actually get some of my boats back. And hey, we... <laughs> How the hell did this work? How the hell did this work? <laughs> I lost hundreds of thousands of lives. How the hell did this work? So, Joya, somehow, you're, um... Your strategy worked. We we did it. I know. We defeated Yugoslavia and Romania and France. The Kingdom of Italy now controls basically all of Southern Europe and Eastern Europe. I know. Yeah, yeah, that look on your face. That's my face too right now here. Um, it did cost a couple, many hundred thousand lives, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. The kingdom, the whole earth is now the whole earth is, well, to be fair, there's a lot more that we would have to conquer if you wanted to conquer the entire world. Is that something that you want to do? Yes! Well, I'll tell you what. If this video gets, let's say, 10,000 likes, we'll do a thing where we try to conquer the entire world together, okay? Okay. All right. So for everyone who's been watching, thank you all very much. This has been Stakui and my daughter Joya here with a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Again, I cannot believe this whole thing actually worked. If you all would, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, we'll continue and I will try to conquer the entire world using this um, build. <laughs> to say like, like none of this should actually work. But we're doing it, you know? We're, we're, uh, we're, we're definitely going for it. Let's see how that works out. My friends, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.